out here at the junkyard today what I like to call purgatory it's just the beginning here we have a mess out here right now but I wanted to make a little video to upload some of the newer cars there uh, I'm not for sure the sun's glaring uh, there it's a uh, old ballot bell there got some old chevys it goes way back in the woods there i don't got my memory card in in order to really get a thorough look through the yard we have several different makes and models here going back to 30s 39 30s or 40s over in the distance we have some old cars I'm gonna try to get around here <coughs> excuse me coming to look at a square body lumina had a tree fall on it so mainly parts we have like i said we have several w bodies um different makes and models let's see got derby cars and it's the reason i call this place purgatory here we're between between the road And Derby or shall I say between the road and the crusher there's old Taurus there uh, can't really see it's a W body old square lumina it goes way up over there that's a, I'm sorry I'm shaking so bad a little weak today that's an old galaxy in the distance here Good thing I paused that. That'd have been a good funny for you guys, but about eat the dirt jumping off that hood. Uh, not a whole lot here. I know I haven't really got up on anything to show you guys, but just wanted to try to give a quick overview, a review of what we had out here. Like I said, I don't have a lot of memory on this phone. But here's some of our more recent cars for compact derby here. As you can see, they go from Honda, Geo, Metro. We got Chevrolet, or GM, Pontiac. Got a little Sunfire. Another Taurus, another Taurus. Honda, Nissan, Kia, let's see, another Taurus here, let's see, I'll try to make it back to the old cars before the video cuts off on me, got some old, older cars back there, Ford Fairmont, Glad it's finally warming up. Got a lot of cleaning to do. Take some scrap off and get that old loader fired up and organize some things. It's hard having a junkyard miles away from you and have anything without someone robbing you blind. So, trying to get a, there's the entrance over there for what you can see. You come in, go around, everything's really scattered out right now. Like I say, it goes back in the woods. And that's more stuff we try to keep. 
There's a Buick Century. Another Sunfire. There's a newer Chevrolet. Uh, let's see. Got the nice back bumper on that Ford there. Homemade back bumper. I need to get that. Here's some of the older cars. It's a shame to see them sitting like this. I'm building a motor right now. A 327. About got done. Uh, just got to put the mainly the accessories, carburetor and all that on it. And I'm trying to debate. Bunny rat. Right? Trying to debate whether I want to fix up this guy right here. It's like a old 50s truck here. 50 something. It's fairly decent shape. To be what it is. It's an old Ford, I'm not for sure. Yeah, this thing is pretty tough shape for old as it is. Granted, it's really rusty, but I'd like to take a sander to it with white grit and clear coat it. Just leave it. But I plan to make a rat rod out of something. I would love to make a gasser out of one of these. This two door right here. Unfortunately, it is the most gone car. This one actually still has the oak block in it. The old flathead. So many briars. Can't get too close. Here's another old truck. It's just a cab, but and doghouse, but really that's all I need. Yeah, this is the deal. Frame really looks good on it. I don't know how good you can see that. Really decent looking truck here. But that's a little sneak peek at the junkyard. If anyone has any questions. About parts. Uh, this is a, a family thing here. A lot of things belong to different people. Some things are mine, some things are my uncle's, and mostly my uncle Eddie. But uh, so much stuff. Good piece for it. Cage there being wasted. This old Chevrolet here is in really good shape overall. Got a bed on it. I'd like to take those two trucks and make one good one. More square tubing. And as a reminder, I know most people know. That watch any of my videos know that I make um, anything you need for a derby car I can make it whether it's a shifter uh, down to headers headers is something uh, really depends on what it is whether I'll take the time to uh, order plates and build them uh, my bender isn't working the same and it's been really hard to get pipes uh, bent to the angle I really need especially on the uh, 
3100s and stuff. Uh, kind of had to quit making the headers for those and make the uh, easier um, horseshoe headers, what I call it. But right there, we got a 65 Impala growed up in the weeds. It only needed interior when it was pulled down here over half of my life ago. Got an old Ford there. Another old Ford. Chevrolet upside down. My uncle's a Ford man. This is this was his truck when he was in high school. This is Granny. I don't think he would sell that thing for I don't want to say he wouldn't for a million dollars, but I've seen him turn down a lot of money for that truck. And I agree, sentimental things sometimes don't have a price on it, but just wanna thank you guys for checking out my video. Uh like I said, just leave a comment if there's anything you would like me to uh, go in deeper detail about. I will be uploading a video in the, few, in the next week or so. A more detailed walkthrough maybe. Maybe just show up close um, maybe 10 cars or trucks. Uh... Especially if anybody was to comment, I'll gladly come back. If anybody needs any parts, I'll gladly come see what I can't help with. Uh, we do have a lot more stuff at my uncle's house. Granted, I can't keep a good eye on things down here. Thank you guys for watching.